بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وبه نستعين وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد One of the most beautiful sayings of Imam al-Rida عليه السلام is on optimism which in Arabic we say حسن الظن When a person is optimistic with regard to somebody he is muhsin al-dhan one who does husn al-dhan with regard to allah how should we be this is what imam is trying to ask to tell us and teach us he is reported to have said ahsin al-dhan billah fa inna man hassana dhannahu billah kana allah inda dhannihi it is a very powerful statement Listeners, if you come to understand the depth of this statement, your whole life will change. We are told here, have a good opinion of Allah. That means think well about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't jump into conclusions. Sometimes you find that, let's say a person gets sick. You start complaining, oh Allah, it is because you made him sick. Don't do that. Think properly. Sometimes you get hurt. Sometimes you, you get a loss. These losses and this getting hurt and all these problems is sometimes very good for you. Sometimes it's because what you have done to yourself. But don't just say that, oh Allah, why did you make me sick? Why did you make my mother sick, for example? Why did you make this person die and so on? Whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is doing for us, it is the best. Obviously, this is important to know that whatever happens is by His permission. Because the moment we say that, no, this act was done independently, that is impossible. Everything. And that's why we also say, لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم. That means every action that we do is by Allah's permission. But Allah has made a system that you can choose between right and wrong. So if you choose right, Allah will help you, help you to do right. If you choose wrong, Allah will help you to do wrong. But if, for example, Allah blocks you in the wrong, that means, you know, you are forced to do right. And that is not according to the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah's wisdom requires us to choose whatever we want, but by Allah's permission. So when we talk about husnul dhan, it's a very beautiful subject and it involves a lot of things that happen to us. Imam al-Rida alayhi salam in this beautiful statement says, have a good opinion of Allah for whosoever has a good opinion of Allah, he will treat him in the same way. أَحْسِنَ الظَّنْ بِاللَّهِ فَإِنَّ مَنْ حَسَّنَ ظَنَّهُ بِاللَّهِ كَانَ اللَّهِ عِنْدَ ظَنِّهِ For example, if a person thinks always positive about Allah, let us say sometimes when you go to a, a, an excursion, you go out for a journey, Shaitan comes. Actually, Shaitan's job is to make you fearful. When you want to go, for example, from one place to another, he makes you fear that perhaps this will happen. Maybe the plane will crash. Maybe, for example, something will happen to your house and so on. So he makes you confused and frightened. We are told, Ahsin al-dhan billah. Who has the control? The ultimate control is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So have good opinion about him. Know that Allah will rectify and make everything properly, everything smooth. And you will find that actually Allah will be with your opinion of Him. This is something extremely important. Inshallah, we'll discuss about it in this, the next session. We come to the end of the program. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu ala Muhammad. Wa alihi al-tayyibin al-tahirin al-ma'asumin.